guys, so I am in uh, our van, Toyota Sienna. And uh, recently my wife called at my uh, daughter's swim practice and said, hey, the car will not come out of neutral. So once you shifted the gears here, sorry about that. I've got it in the, the brakes now, so it won't roll, but it once you try to pull it into um, any gear, reverse or drive, it only shows neutral on the dash, on the panel. And I noticed once I cranked the car, the gear shift is very loose and it makes it feel like uh, there's some sort of deal going on with your transmission. So what I'm doing today, after I've done some research on YouTube myself, I have begun to dismantle my dashboard because I feel like my problem is the gear shift linkage uh, kit here needs to be repaired or replaced. It's on this side. But unfortunately, uh, the good folks at Toyota decided to make this as difficult as possible. So you have to pretty much dismantle the entire dash, door panels, everything hides behind everything else. And there's a screw on top of a screw and I'm trying to get here. So I've got to take all of this loose and all this loose. And once I get inside, I'll be back and I can confirm or deny, hopefully confirm that my problem is what I think it is. And if that's the case, it's a relatively easy fix. Just wanted to kind of shoot this quick video in the event that you guys may come across the same thing. So let me continue to dismantle and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, so <laughs> when I broke to to um, to take apart the dash and come back and talk to you, it's been a solid 20 minutes. And um, frustrating 20 minutes, but I'm gonna help you so that you don't have to go through what I just went through <clears throat> and the good people at Toyota and by good, I mean, <clears throat> uh, uh, <laughs> you couldn't have put this dash together a more troublesome, a complex way uh, because there are screws and holes where it doesn't really need to be. So I'm gonna show you first what I was getting at, the um, uh, the item in question, and my I've got good news because this is exactly what I thought it was, so it's not a transmission issue. So hold tight, I'm gonna show you that. All right, so I don't know the technical term for this piece, but these, sorry about that. Do you see this piece here? This should be connected to, to this. And when this comes off of this, your gear shift, which goes up and down, and I apologize, I don't, I can't put the car uh, on now and hold the camera this way, it's just gonna roll. So this goes on to this. And when you put the car into gear, it goes up and down, up and down. And this neck here uh, holds on to the gearing and the transmission. And that's how you change your gears. And I'm going to fix that. I don't know exactly how I'm going to fix it, uh, but I am glad this is the culprit and not actually um, a transmission issue. So uh, I've got to put it in drive and then get it in this loop. But then I've got to figure out if I'm going to run a some sort of uh, drill through here uh, to put a pin in. If I'm going to put a washer on it and try to, um, I don't know what my solution will be. I also ordered a uh, repair linkage kit. I'll put the um, I'll put that in the in the notes. Uh, and that's not doing to me until tomorrow, but I'm supposed to take the van on a trip uh, this weekend and I wanted to see if I could just fix it, uh, you know, myself. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm optimistic about it. I'll just have to figure out how I'm going to do it. But in the interim, I want to show you what my van looks like now since I've taken all this apart. So you're going to start with here because all of these areas, all of this plastic lays on top of other plastic, lays on top of plastic. And you literally have to take the entire dash loose in order to get there. So here's how I'm gonna help you. 
because what gave me the most problem was getting this silver piece off, this entire piece off so I can expose here. So who were the culprits? Uh, when you get in uh, to this gray and black area, whatever color your van is, when you get into the neck of it, um, there's a, a screw here. There's a screw here. And there's a screw. You see this little guy here that's holding on the side? For some reason, they decided that he needed to be screwed in to here. Okay? Now, this is not going to come off as long as that screw is in there. And I want you to be able to see it. I apologize. That's a metal piece here that's connected right in there. That whole gray piece is held in by that piece. And that's what I had to figure out and pull all of this off. And you can see over here how I've had to pull out every single plastic piece component. They all feed into the middle. And you will see these areas here where there are no bolts here and here in different places. So just be careful as you go through. You have to expose uh, this gray piece is what you're trying to get off. But you have to pull everything away from it. And then finally, these three bolts are your, are your boogers that you're going to have to get off in order to get everything exposed. So I'm going to go in and determine how I'm going to fix this. And I'll let you know and I'll show you the end product. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you this and I wonder if you can see it there. I was able to get that piece back on, but I'm going to show you how the gear shift is supposed to work. I do have my keys in. So you see it's supposed to come up with the shaft. It's supposed to, as you change gears, but you see how it's coming off? That's what happens. It, it, there's um, uh, some very slick uh substance on this piece and it has slipped off i don't know if there's another piece that was on the end or if it was just simply glued i don't know but it has come off and the goal is uh to have this piece i apologize i'm trying to do this with one hand uh this piece needs to be on the neck i apologize this this piece needs to be on this piece here so once you get it on, now it's on. I just have to figure out how I'm going to keep it on and if I'm going to use the kit or if I'm going to create a solution of my own. And right now, I really feel like I'm going to create a solution on my own. That plastic piece isn't broken, uh, so it's not compromised. And quite honestly, my kit, there's a plastic piece that goes in the, in the middle here that's going to sorry about that guys every time i try to to handle my phone i have to switch hands in it and i'm hitting the wrong buttons but anyway there's a plastic piece that's going to be inserted in the in the middle of this and it's going to make it tight up against that and so when i shift moving forward it'll stay on so i'm gonna uh create something and i'll be back shortly okay guys i received my kit from Amazon and this is uh, what you're looking for a shift linkage repair kit and you can see here uh, it fits a lot of different cars and this is a Toyota Sienna and that is what I needed Sienna this is what comes in it this uh, these two pieces and then this little package of they call it grease um, very simple instructions on the other side, uh, just shows you how to, um, insert the pieces onto your shaft and, uh, hopefully this works. So I'm about to install this and I'll come back, uh, to show you the end. All right, guys. So I got the part on and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see, see that purple part. That's what goes in and you use the black part to kind of push it on. So the black part evidently is not a part that needs to stay on. But I'll tell you what I did uh, just as a uh, additional measure. I kind of took a Q-tip and glazed the end there with a little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue just to make sure this thing doesn't come off again. 
and now I'm going to show you uh, that how it's working now. You'll remember how it was coming loose. So give me a second here. Um, see how it's staying on? And that's what you want to see happen. It needs to stay on. So that's pretty much it. Um, what I have to do now... <laughs> Uh, for me, the task now is to put all this back together. So, uh, pray for me that I remember where all these bolts go and hopefully this has been helpful to you. So, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel check out. We have things like this periodically. Uh, we've got a diverse stuff on the channel, travel tips and hotel reviews and stuff like that. But every now and then, uh, I'll do stuff like this just because I think it's a common issue and it's something that can help you guys out. So thank you and talk to you soon.